production machining that's of interest to you, then we're here at Matsura today in Colville. This is the home of horizontal machining centres and we're here to meet up with Dominic who's the national sales manager and he's going to talk us through the specification of their H plus 300 horizontal machining centre. I'm now standing in front of a Matsura H plus 300 and I'm going to introduce Dominic who's the national sales manager for Matsura. Good morning Dominic. So a big horizontal machining centre, tell us about it, the capacity, why would you opt for a Matsura? You say it's a big horizontal machine. It's actually a small um, horizontal machining centre with a very large capability. So what we're standing in front of here is a 15 pallet tower system. Each pallet is a 300 square, uh, but has a capacity, as you can see, of 530 diameter by 760 mil high. So what that gives you in a very, very small footprint is a very large capacity machine tool. You can have up to 320 tools on this machine, and where we predominantly sell this machine is to customers that are looking at batched scheduled production by eliminating the setup time. So what we can do is if you have a kit, a kit of components, we can set all the pallets up with individual operations and different sequences of components, schedule it through the controller and then make the parts as you need them with zero set. Coupled with 24 hour, seven day on man money. So with the, machi the machine incentive is obviously Matsura, the loading system is Matsura. It's all well. Matsura, it's 100%, 100% Matsura. So you could then take a pallet from the pallet changer into the machine, back out again, and then a new pallet into the machine. So it's completely automated. You could run overnight, 24 hours. The sort of components that you'd maybe machine on this then? What sort of industry? Typically, it depends whether it's, um, we, we sell a lot to the oil, um, oil and gas industry, where they're making manifold blocks or prismatic aluminium boxes, or even castings. But obviously anything that fits within that envelope, and it can be small or large, uh, what we tend to say though is that if you can fill the pallets with hours of machining, then obviously it makes the unmanned running a lot easier to process. So if you can have two, three, four hours per pallet, and you've got a scheduled production run, it means that during the working day, the actual operator only needs to frequently visit the machine and this thing is continuously running production all the way through the process, op 10 to op 30, op 40, kit of parts straight out to customer. But one question that I would think of if I was looking at a horizontal machining centre is maybe to start with, I wouldn't need the production or, or the addition of the pallet system. So is this retrofitable at a later date? Can be expanded because all Matsura horizontal and five axis multi pallet machines are expandable both in pallet systems and tool magazines. But generally what you find with this machine is that if a customer is looking for an automated solution, the price difference between a twin pallet and a multi pallet is not much more. And the reason is, is that fundamentally, if you're gonna automate any machine tool, you need a very good platform in which to do so. The automation on a Matsura is actually very competitive because the key machine is where the expense is. So if it's a twin pallet machine against a 5 or 11 or 15, the additional cost to automate it is not much more from day one. And when you are looking to sell a machine like this, you've obviously got competition as there is in every walk of life. How much better is the Matsura and why do people I find it? with this particular model, if we find an inquiry that is interested in a 15 pallet or the 5 pallet H plus 300, there is, dare I say it, very little competition and the reason is is that footprint return on investment for footprint compared to most other machine tool suppliers because they'll be on a 400 pallet platform as opposed to a 300 is significantly more they don't manufacture their machines to be automated so they put a lot of add-ons which makes the machine very in my opinion cumbersome and big and very expensive so if we find a true inquiry um, for this particular machine tool we find that it's very, very competitive and returns a very good ROI. So in the UK, how many installations of an H plus 300 would you say there are? Over the years, we've been selling this machine in many configurations now for 25 years. So I would say to small subcontractors that are entrepreneurial and to the OEM, which is typically where it goes, we've probably got in excess of 150 installations of this machine. Wow. And we spoke about the tool changer and the pallet systems, things like the spindle, 
you can obviously have various speeds of spindle. Is it BT40 or BT? Again, it's BT40, big plus. All our spindles are taper face contact, BT40. 15,000 RPM is standard, and 20,000 RPM is an option. Typically sold with a 15,000 RPM spindle in the main because it's a high speed, high power. So low speed for high torque, stainless, in canal, titanium machining, and high speed for your soft alloys such as aluminium, your coppers, and, and, and such like. And then finally on the control, the Matsura GTEC 30i. So again, this is a FANUC based control. Fanuc -based control. Yep. So if you're used to using FANUC controls, you could move on to this. Again, easily. yeah, what, what we do with all our pallet systems, we supply all our own pallet scheduling software, which is very easy to program a face of a cube. So you can have a number of programs per, per cube, so you're not dedicated to just one job. You can specify that face or that face and a click of a button. Is that available offline as well? That's, that, that isn't available offline. That's obviously done on the controller. But what we do as Matsura UK with all our pallet systems, we can offer what we call Matsura TPS Outlook, which is a software-based um, visionary software for tool life and tool management and hours of run. So at a glance, the machine and the software can tell you how many hours you're going to run unmanned or whether an operator needs to intervene to ensure that it runs unmanned. Coupled with if it stops, it'll inform somebody while they're sleeping at night. Right. So everything's about keeping the spindle running, which is then earning the customer money. Sounds like everything's been taken care of. It's a long, we've been selling multi-pallet machines for a long time. And what we do focus on is customer feedback. And as you know, I've been here a long time and I, I'm part of a committee that steers new development and new software to make the use of the machine even easier than what it appears. You know, these are a very hungry machine tool. It will do an awful lot of work. All you've got to do is just feed it. Well, very interesting, Dom. Thanks for your time. Pleasure. So there we have it, a Matsura H plus 300.